we now look at how to make a self-watering bucket. This is somewhat ideal for persons who preferred or continues to use dirt as their growing medium. This is ideal for persons who are busy due to work, constantly away from home, or for that individual who cannot be bothered with the everyday watering. Very cost effective and low maintenance. So you will need a bucket for this project. I use a 3.8 liter bucket. You will need a container large enough to place in the base of the bucket. You will need the bucket lid or something that is rigid with a flat surface so that when you peer the edges, you can fit that perfectly atop the container that is in the base of the bucket. You will need a filling tube with a half inch or a three quarter inch internal diameter that fits into the bucket like this. I went ahead and peered the edges of this lid. You may have to do that several times in order to get it to fit perfectly atop the container in the bucket. With that done, we're now going to mark the area where the filling tube will be inserted on this lid. You're going to be placing your filling tube close to the edge of the lid. And you're going to get your sharpie pen or your marker and it's going to mark around that filling tube. The inner part of the circle is where you're going to carefully cut out. You want to cut it so the filling hose does not fit loosely inside that space. You may have to do it more than once to get the perfect fit if you are doing it freehand as I am doing. So you're going to insert the filling hose into the slot and it should be looking something like this. Not too tight, not too slack. It should be able to remove easily. Now for this inner container, you will want to make several holes around it and also some slits to the rim. This will enable water to pass through freely and also fill that inner space. There is no limit to the amount of holes that you want to make, but be sure to make one to the center of the base of this container. It should be large enough to facilitate the insertion of a wick. This wick will actually be the medium by which the water will be transferred from the reservoir to the soil. So your container should be looking similar to this when you are complete. So now we take our lid and we will place several holes into this lid. The holes that we place in the lid is to facilitate drainage from the soil. So just in case the plants are placed outside and you have heavy rains, then the excess moisture, the excess water will be drained from the soil into the reservoir. The holes are also there as point entry by which the roots can access water or nutrients from the reservoir. We now create a hole right here in the center, large enough to accommodate the wick. This hole that you are making should be similar size to that of the inner container. So this right here is a perfect size, the wick can easily be thread through. So we now take the filling tube and we are going to place it on the inner side of the bucket. And we are going to mark at least two inches, anywhere from two to three inches above the top of the bucket. So after measuring and marking the height of the inner container, we're just going to place it now on the outside of the bucket. We're going to mark the bucket about half to one inch below the line on the filling tube. This mark will represent where you're going to drill a hole and that hole will be for release of excess water from the bucket. So now we're going to make a cut at the first mark that we made on the filling hose and discard the excess. We're also going to make an angled cut to the end that we are going to insert into the bucket. So it should be looking like this. This will allow water to flow easily into the bucket while refilling. Now we're going to insert the filling hose up to this red mark in the lid. As you will notice, the wick is already threaded through the inner container and the lid. So guys, let me take it a bit closer so you can see exactly what I'm doing. This line right here is exactly where it should stop. So once that is done, you can now just slip it into the bucket. And it should fit nicely, just like what you're seeing here. So with that fit nicely, you notice there's no space between the lid and the inner part of the bucket. And what is also noticeable is that the hole is just below 
the lid. So the soil is not in direct contact with the water, but it will be wicked up through the cloth material. So guys, this is the point at which you will fill or refill your reservoir. You can fill it directly like this, or you can insert a funnel, which will be much easier. So guys, I have this mesh that I will be placing into the bucket and this will act as a barrier to prevent the soil from seeping through the hole into the water. If you notice, a hole is cut into the middle to allow the wick to pass through. If you don't have a mesh and have other material that can be used as well. But the mesh for me works best because it will still be able to allow roots to pass through. What I will do now is to show you how to fill your container with soil while the mesh and the wick is in place. What you will notice, I am filling on the inside of the mesh so that the mesh remains in contact with the bucket and also that the wick remains upright in the middle. Transplanting and watering coming up next, continue watching. So you may have a seedling or a potted plant that you want to transfer into this new system. What you need to do is to fill the pot to about 1 inch below the rim and then you make the appropriate size hole to accommodate plant or seedling. For this demonstration I have here a healthy scotch bonnet pepper seedling that I am going to insert. You will want to plant it deep enough so as to have a sturdy support. At this point you may want to add some more topsoil then you press down gently so that the roots make perfect contact with the soil. Your first watering will be done through the soil to prevent the possibility of transplant shock. Filling the reservoir is very easy, so you just insert a funnel and then you are on your way. There is no need to be concerned about overwatering or when a reservoir is full as the excess will be expelled through the overflow hole. So guys, all of what I have just said is being demonstrated right here before your eyes, so there is no need to worry. You will also need to cover the filling hole to prevent mosquitoes and other insects from entering. So what I do is that I get a piece of sponge and I just insert that into the hole. Having systems like this around your home, it is very convenient. You will have that luxury of going to visit friends, families on weekends, going on a short vacation for a week, two weeks or more. This system will eliminate the possibility of your plants wilting or possibly dying as a result of a lack of water while you are away. It is highly recommended that each household have a couple of these systems as they are suitable for indoors as well as outdoors.